Uh, this is the Super Toy Show and Fair, December 8th, 2018. And here's out front of the, the fairgrounds walkthrough thing. There was something on the uh, cell phone camera lens. And anyway, the uh, toy show um, didn't say time tunnel, though. It just said toy show. It was them, though. Uh, it was um, the actor that was going to show up didn't. As far as I know, they didn't announce him. Um, hmm. So, yeah, I guess the... the, the um, there's an advertisement about a New Year's bash there, which uh, we're not going to. Except being over the gate. Um, but yeah, I uh, decided to film walking through the gate there. Well, like an episode of Abandoned. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there. You know, I'm um, all right. Uh, mentioned on the other video that there was less, uh, that there was no Jim Tacon, uh, or, and no, and no Tim, and no John, or Mark's cards. So, uh, I took an Uber to the fairgrounds after the, uh, pancake breakfast at the church, uh, then, and, uh, then afterward went home and do another thing that was in the evening, but the English is a second language class. Yeah, there's, uh, hmm, yeah, um, I'm not sure why this clip is playing the opening again. How did that happen? That's twice. I do not know why that's twice. Um, so then I comment on the toy show that I'm going in. I guess I just really liked the entryway scene there. Um, it's a smaller building. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. The, here's an older collector kind of thing. Um, a mixed of, a mixture of, mixture of very old, very old stuff and, uh, and, some family guy and some other stuff. Uh, some very old robots, uh, different things, uh, a doll, some other accoutrements. Uh, yeah, it, uh, there's some Christmas stuff. St. Nicholas is a Santa Claus. Santa Claus with a, with a, with a beard and such comes from, uh, the 1939, uh, World's Fair. St. Nicholas was before that, but by a hundred years, but, but, uh, the Christmas, uh, Santa Claus is from, uh, only the 30s. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, only the 30s. It was a commercial for J.C. Penney. Oh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, I think J.C. Penney. Uh, there's, uh, Bruce Lee from the famous, uh, Bruce Lee movie. has uh, several nice statues, uh, statuettes of... <clears throat> Several cool looking ones. They are statues though. They're they're not articulated figures, they're statues. They have a few little like knick-knack robot things here. Oh. Okay, the Transformers. They did have some interesting stuff there in little bins and boxes. There's a little pink guitar. Some dead Ken dolls. Magic Man doll. And some Captain Marvel from back in the day. Um yeah, man. So there's, uh, yeah, uh, Hot Wheels cars and the Millennium Falcon, an old one. Uh, there's there's one of the the, the guys. Um, some Star Wars stuff. The Falcon again up close, and then back to the superheroes. There's just, yeah, I'm kind of commenting more or less on what I'm seeing just because. The other thing is, I already recapped, so. Yeah, everybody was fairly cordial. I, I came in on the, on the, uh, 20 minutes early. 
and did the filming before most people were in there. Um, yeah, surreptitiously and whatnot. There were other people filming. It wasn't like I was the only one. In fact, there was actually a guy doing a commercial with an actual like movie camera in there. And <laughs> he's doing a commercial for a toy, so... So there were other people doing stuff in there. It's just, uh, yeah, it's little Cal Cat web channel is not famous. So it kind of, they were doing, there was a guy doing a commercial later on with like, he had a special mic and everything. The commercial one. Um, so here we have one of the Transformer sites, Time Tunnel Associates. Um, this is another one. Uh, all the critters are hanging from hanging in death from the thing. Some there's there's a, there's a, a, a T Rex head. Hello, uh, and some Hot Wheels. And here we have some Simpsons characters. Um, yeah, I never really that show was like I never really got into that. That show. Uh, there, were, there were quite a lot of little Transformer Dinknacks things, and several b booths had them. Several of the. This is the big one, though. The one of the big ones. There were two big ones, and that's the one we always go to. And they they like our picture. They want Cal Cat to take pictures. <laughs> we're like, yeah, get yeah, take more pictures. Yeah, we we want you to take pictures of our stuff. Show you how awesome our, our website is. Yeah, free advertising. They understand. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I should probably have got that guy, but a little, little, little dude. But I think I have him already. So. Um, who's calling? Um, yeah. So there's a pretty. There's a six shots back there. It was very faded looking. Yellowed. Um, here's some later edition stuff. A lot of a mixture of of of, of all kinds of things. There's movie posters. Those are always useful. Uh, the Funko stuff is more modern. It's kind of everywhere. Um, the I can understand why like the bootleg DVD guy would want anybody film because he's bootleg DVD guy. <laughs> And then I wouldn't even ask to film this stuff. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's some G.I. Joes. Star Wars things. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it's not like they necessarily would uh, lose any revenue by having some random dude come in and film their stuff for free. But maybe they're worried about like some kind of weird extortion thing involving like making them pay after they get a picture, which, which yeah, it's like doesn't work because why would anyone do that? Maybe that's what they're mad about. I don't know. Or or getting caught. <laughs> Having somebody like like up in there and go like, okay, these toys are fake or they're junk. In front of this guy's store. Ah. Of course, they would have to know what the name of the store is, and I never filmed the name of the store. So I don't know who these booths actually are that I'm filming at all. <laughs> so, yeah, that 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 theory doesn't work because they're they don't know. Yeah, they you didn't ask them who they were, so even if their stuff was bootlegged or crappy, they could see it on YouTube, but they no one else would know who they were. So they could just deny it and say, oh, that wasn't my booth. That was someone else's booth. They just kind of looked like me a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's like... I think they were more more concerned about somebody, like, taking their idea, which is a common thing among the, uh, the trade people. Whereas, no, their ideas are all the same in a way. They're like, I'm going to have a niche where I sell... This guy, for instance, Transformers and some some vintage stuff with it and some other knick-knacky stuff with it. And here's one that's selling like old cars and other knick-knacky stuff. 
and and some old robot stuff thrown in there too or the lady selling frozen dolls it's like yeah those are kind of different things but they're kind of the same so nobody's ripping off anyone else's idea uh oh P.B. Herman hiding his face in shame um Alfred E. Newman yeah the Alfred E. Newman the the the, the character a Mad Magazine is based on a politician from the uh, 70s. When I mentioned that while I was filming it, and some kids said, What? Who's Alfred e. Newman? Oh. I was like, well, he's a, he was a politician in the 70s, and uh, Mad Magazine's based on him. <laughs> like a caricature of this politician. There's some um, G.I. Joe stuff. The G.I. Joe guy from last time, from March, was there again. In September, you go in September. I got one. Not sure. Anyway, so yeah, it was not too long ago that we went on these. So. Oh, it's September. Yeah. Oh, 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 let's look this up. A Herbie the Love Bug. Excellent. A fairly good model of that. Is that the moment of Zen, the Herbie the Love Bug, <laughs> or is it later? No, the, her the, the I think that's later. Um, I think it's the Flasher Gremlin. That's the moment of Zen. But here we have the uh, some pink characters, boxes, cards. Oh, those are like little uh, knickknack card things. Yeah, they're like little pendants, pins, pins, lady. Some of those might be worth something. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, so. Hmm. So we have lots of. Like. Well, I got all some sort of Lego, Mega characters. Disney, Disney Lego characters. And back to some more superheroes and and things. Um, you know, when they're in the cases, they're probably not meant to be filmed because they're in cases. Um, let's see, uh, those are some. There's a lot of vintage toys at this one. It's more of a vintage one. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. There was actually a lot of people there toward the middle of this. Um, but, of course, you can't just film random people walking around. It looks like there aren't any, but uh, they actually were. But we were, I was trying not to film them. So, <laughs> most of them were cut out. Um, the Decepticon shirt. Um, the shirt guy. Yeah. What's up? Uh... <sighs> A lot of Transformers, a lot of, um, yeah, random character story things. Um, Hot Wheels cars, I'm just commenting on what I'm seeing because I already talked about it. I uh, did film some of the bootleg guy. <laughs> I actually did get a shot of him there. Um, but, oh yeah. Um... Uh, or one of the semi bootleg guys. Those are the Funko Pops taken out. They're little Funko box thing. I think that's what those are. And um, some Transformers. Cal the Cat. If you had a, if you had a, uh, there's a, a Buzz Fuzz Tightrayer to Uranus and beyond. Yes, uh, Buzz Lightyear to, to your infinity and beyond. Um, but but we have a uh, Sally. Um. A mad ball. Some Batmobiles. Batman. Batman. Star Trek. Star Trek LPs and NPs. Yeah, the records. There were actually vintage vinyl records there. As well as laser discs. I don't have a laser disc player or a vinyl record player. So 
a lot of CDs in a box that somebody had apparently gotten a lot of from a, either their collection or possibly from a friend that just had a bunch of CDs. Well, there were a lot of standee statues. So a lot of the newer action figures don't have as much articulation as if they can get away with that. <laughs> and here they have like, we have like a, a lot of st uh, Star Wars and G.I. Joe jets. Mainly Star Wars. Hmm. <laughs> there he is. A moment of zen. Flasher Gremlin from Gremlins 2. Uh, look at my gremlin junk. Somebody should have attached a dick on that, though. That would have been funny. <laughs> the only way that works, though, is if the fla the flasher gremlin would have had to have seen a flasher in order to have imitated that. <laughs> so somewhere in the gremlin's universe, there's a creepy flasher guy rocking around that the gremlin saw and copied. <laughs> Ew. Ew. That's a you. Yeah. Yeah, a little shiny um car guy. I was talking to the car guy for a while there, the matchbox car guy. Yeah, he wanted to know about the Cal Cat show, so I told him. <laughs> Isn't too early the That's this guy. Yeah, yeah. Ew. So that little low rider, red low rider car was like 20 bucks. I was like, no. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather spend 20 bucks on some of these guys. And, you know, a little uh, Warpath and Wheelie. I probably have these, but now I have them again. Let's get a bunch of mini cons next time. Ooh, and also I was telling the guy, the, the dudes, well, they were talking, they were talking about their their own stuff, and then after this other guy left, I was telling the Transformer guy, yeah, I had I had a eBay store, and I had, like, booths and stuff, and I keep, I keep, like, buying my own stuff and not selling it. <laughs> and he laughed. <laughs> so I got a shit ton of stuff, and I haven't sold any. In years. <laughs> it doesn't work. You're not supposed to take your own supply, man. <sighs> that was a current person that said current joke yeah um it's been said before but to the same guy oh yeah somebody had a dukes of hazard car if that thing had been under what he was asking for it i bought it but he's asking a lot a couple of april o'neills would have been cool anyway so yeah some more about, oh, go, oh, go, oh, yeah, Power Rangers. What's cool is they did play the, uh, the heavy metal version of the Power Rangers song, which was funny. Started out all or dark and sardonic and dark, and then suddenly they're all, go, go, Power Ranger. It's like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> trying to be edgy and failing. It's like a lot of these comics are trying to be edgy and failing. It's like I went over to like the, the uh, comic shop afterward and you know, like superhero comics are trying to be desperately trying to be edgy and more like the DC thing. So I can see what the DC people are getting at. They're just not doing it right. You know, and then there was this weird comic book about uh, like pregnant spider woman and, and pregnant um, Marvel girl or pff, Captain Marvel because Probably the producer and the writer had a baby, and they're like, "Ooh, I gotta write about the wonder of having a baby." It's like, no, you don't. You can leave that out. That's it. it's because that's not about comic books. Your your target audience is like young boys who read comic books. They don't care about that stuff. They don't care about the little baby brother. They don't want to read about that. <laughs> they don't care about that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, they want they want to read about like superheroes kicking butt, not about the wonders of of parenthood. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, we have. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, more Transformers classics. There were a lot of classics. Oh yeah, that's the uh, Playboy Duck thing. 
apparently that's a weird uh, uh yeah that that was a uh, yeah, Howard the Duck was made to be dirtier in the cartoon movie cartoon because of the penthouse and the Playboy Dirty Duck. And Lucas didn't realize that that was not a main Howard the Duck story. That was a parody of Howard the Duck. Yeah, he didn't get it, so he made it dirty. And it's like, no, it wasn't supposed to be. He's just sarcastic. Anyway, this is the end of the concert, and that's why it sucked. Yeah. So that's the end of the. Um, this is over at the East Ridge, and there's this really ugly looking, hideous looking, scary, delicious, de delectable doll. And here we have a llama and a dog that, a doggy that just pooped. <laughs>